congratulations, you're about to retire. That's good news, I hope, for you. And now, you have the opportunity to give a farewell speech. This may be the last business speech you ever get, and therefore, it is time to talk about retirement speech for co-workers. Let's make it a good one. Hi, I'm Yannick from speakandconquer.com, and in this video, we're going to hop right in with the 12 practical tips to get you prepped and ready and confident about this. So, if you're interested, then jump in. What is a retirement speech? First things first, for starters, we have to define what a retirement speech is and what it is not, and so we can narrow our focus in preparation. The primary goal of a retirement speech is to highlight your best moments in this company. Retirement speech is not a speech to the board of directors, and it's not a speech to analysts at the conference. Therefore, you don't have to go over every single success by quarter and every single jump up and the stock price. This is not the time for that sort of thing. How long should a retirement speech last? You don't want to go on all night, but if this is a lunchtime party or evening dinner in your honour, you don't have to worry about it being just two minutes long. Therefore, don't worry about the length of your retirement speech. If it's exciting and heartfelt, then it could be 10 minutes, or it could be 29 minutes. People will listen to you, and they will like it, and they will respect it. But if it is as interesting as watching grass grow, then make it as short as possible and save us from the torture. Is there a PowerPoint in your retirement speech? You certainly don't need PowerPoint, although if you wanted to use pictures in one, there's nothing wrong with this, but you don't need to have a PowerPoint presentation. 12 Practical Retirement Speech Tips Your retirement speech structure is fairly simple. I want you to write down everything you're proud of, and it might be something entirely inconsequential to the bottom line. It doesn't have to be about the bottom line, but there needs to be some human element to it. 1. Write down three things you're proud of. I want you to brainstorm right now and let's come up with three things that have happened during your career that were meaningful to you and where you can start to tell a story about it. 2. Take a moment of reflection for yourself. As I said earlier, it's an opportunity for you to thank people, to make them feel good about themselves and your time. Tell them what this career meant to you, what this place meant to you, and what these people meant to you. Also, this is a chance to make everyone feel good about your tenure there. 3. Tell a story. As I always say, make a point, tell a story. Listeners love personal stories, and if you're a good storyteller, it's even more fun to listen to. For example, tell a nice story where you describe a real problem you and your team had and how you solved it. Here's the story outline. What the problem was. What the client or one of your colleagues said to you. Where were you when this problem happened? How did you feel about it? Were you feeling depressed or bummed out or worried? How was it resolved? How did everything work its way through? How did you work together as a team? The more your stories relate to things that everyone in the room can understand, the better. This way, people will be able to re-experience it with you. 4. Thank the people specifically. You thank the people who meant something to you, and you thank them specifically. You should mention some specific acts or tell stories recounting particular things you and your team did that were meaningful to you and perhaps to others. Your speech should make people feel good about themselves and you. You should make them realise that you feel good about them and you wish everyone continued success. What's going to make it so meaningful is when you specifically thank Sally from accounting or James from sales. While you do this, pay attention not to sound like a B-level actor who's won an award. 5. Make fun of yourself If you're going to talk about something embarrassing, make yourself the butt of the jokes. 
I mean, you don't have to worry about your corporate reputation here or your organizational reputation that much because you're retiring. Therefore, you can be a little looser. I'm not suggesting you get risque and say wildly off-color or politically incorrect things, but you can be a little looser in this situation. It's merely not as formal a presentation. So, you want to make fun of yourself, because now is the perfect time to do it. How to outline a retirement speech 6. Don't write it all out. I don't think you want to write it all out. It makes it seem like a quarterly conference call with analysts, and there's an attorney behind you. Remember, this is a personal moment, so I would recommend not reading your speech aloud. Now, you could spend a half an hour doing that, but it's not a typical business speech where you have to get the wording just right, because, let's face it, no one is recording every minute of this and going to be picking it apart and criticizing it in the newspaper tomorrow. So, here's what I want you to do with your speech rather than write it all up. 7. Have a simple one-page outline. I'd like you to have a simple one-page outline, and I'd like you to have the names of the people you want to thank on it. Also, this paper should have bullet points that remind you of particular stories and things that happened. This should be a clear outline, where once you see those three words, you know exactly what you want to say for the next three or four minutes. And that is the bulk of your speech outline right there. 8. Give some indication of what you might be doing in the future. If you've been a lifelong fan of bird watching and now you and your spouse are going to travel the world on international bird watching safari and no one else knows about it, they would love to hear that about you. They'd love to know that you're going to continue with an active life and you're not just sitting at home and watching television. They would like to know you're doing something meaningful with your life and therefore now's the time to share it with people. 9. Spotlight the good things. Now remember that your retirement speech is obviously not the time to settle scores or to reopen old bitter memories that happened with someone. I'm not asking you to lie and sugarcoat things if you hated it, but let's focus on the positive. There must be something there at this organization that kept you coming back. Therefore, this is the time to spotlight the good things you've done with the organization, the people you've worked with, and the positive memories. You may be retiring, but it never hurts to leave on positive terms to build goodwill. 10. Avoid long history lessons. The good thing is you don't have to educate people on everything if you've been there for 40 years. You don't have to tell them about everything you did. You just want to put a spotlight on two or three things that really meant something to you. So please avoid long history lessons during your speech. 11. Keep your emotions in check. You want to be able to keep your emotions in check. This is a retirement event and it's your retirement speech. It's not a stuffy, formal business affair and it's perfectly fine to have a little more emotion than usual, but don't fall apart. I've seen it, you've seen it. People can sometimes fall apart in their retirement speech and they're crying their blubber. I mean, I miss everyone and I don't know what to do with my life. That's just not the time for it now. Look, I'm not asking you to be a robot. There's nothing wrong with being sad, but you don't want it to stop the actual presentation. 12. Rehearse your speech in front of the video camera. Before your actual speech, you should rehearse it in front of a video camera. This way you become so comfortable with the speech and how you're going to deliver it that it's much easier to keep your emotions in check. Bonus tip. Don't drink alcohol until your retirement speech is over. One final thing. I mean, it's probably an evening event dinner. There may be champagne flowing or other adult beverages of choice. I don't want to sound like an old fuddy-duddy, and I certainly enjoy a glass of wine here and there. But... I'm recommending that you don't drink any alcohol until your retirement speech is over. The reason for that is alcohol slows you down and makes you more emotional. Even one glass can slow down recall, 
If you're giving a speech, and it's an emotional evening anyway, that extra drag on your memory can sometimes slow you down and cause awkwardness. So, there it is. 12 practical tips on how to make a retirement speech for co-workers. Now, if you find this video helpful, then press thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Also, before you go, take a look at the next video you see on the screen right now. Meanwhile, take care.